It's not just going to be uncovered in, 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 in the financial part and financial part and what the banks is trying to do. Guys, it's time to revisit the Kevin Hunter saga. You know, the ex-husband of the Queen of Talk herself, Wendy Williams, hits the headlines again. And this time, the sinister word bankruptcy is looming over him. It's been a while since we talked about Kevin, but in the meanwhile, his financial disaster reached a new height. So you all remember how Kevin was in full on liquidation mode, selling everything from his million dual Florida mansion to cars and personal belongings. But hold on to your hats because there's a new chapter in the Kevin Hunt Chronicles and his position is not envious anymore. Everything to get to closure quick. And I'm not going to even lie. Turns out Kevin has some not so pleasant legal business to attend to brace yourselves for this one. A Florida judge has slapped him with a massive sum after he allegedly blew off a lawsuit over his credit card bill. According to court documents, a BS bank used it took Kevin to court claiming he refused to pay a hefty amount charged to his visa signature card back in 2014. The filing says defendant has failed to make the minimum monthly payments by the payment due date as required by the card number agreed. Meant, despite OBS Bank's demand, despite OBS Bank's demand, the hunter has failed and refuses to pay the outstanding account balance and the jaw-dropping sum he's been ordered to cough up, get ready for it, a whopping $20,000, and you know how those credit card interest rates. Dance. It's a party that grows until the debt is paid off. Looks like Kevin is a deep, deep mud waters, and there's no way out of this mess. You can't take in any other business, you can't just remove something that was great and just put something else there. Wait, there's a twist bus alleges that Kevin was making all timely payments until he abruptly stopped as of March 2023. Kevin is accused of owing over two millions in total and Abe claims they've been hollering at him since January 2023, but he's been playing. Deaf to their demands, as Kevin explained his situation, I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended, my life has been greatly affected. Since the plaintiff AA, Wendy stopped making payments on. There are settlement agreement, do you also find it beyond any limit of shame that he relies on Wendy's money to heal his financial wounds? This man has no shame, and while their divorce had been finalized for over a year now, and Wendy made it clear that she doesn't want to ever be in her life, he's still expecting her to deal with his mess. In the video, oh, I do want somebody there for me. I do want to be supported in the same way I'm supporting somebody. I do want to. So Kevin claimed that the alimony checks from Wendy Williams suddenly stopped rolling in after the court took control of her bank account as we previously spilled Wells Fargo, slammed the brakes on Wendy's account due to concerns about financial exploitation, meaning that the TV he D had no rule over her own millions. According to Kevin, the Wells Fargo saga messed up his ability to pay his bills, leading to a cascade effect on his finances. He was scrapping his last panties, hiring lawyers to solve that problem. But each time his attempt hit the same roadblock and he got denied again and again and again, whatever I don't have, whatever is taken away from me that God don't want me to have. I'm going to get back recently Kevin sold off his Florida home for a cool one million, but the judge ruled that the matter would be heard at a later time. And if, if you've been following the Kevin Hunter Chronicles, you'd know he's not one to shy away from legal battles. He dropped a 10 million lawsuit bomb on the product. Ookers of the Wendy Williams show accusing them of wrongful termination after Wendy filed for divorce and his rep said this lawsuit seeks to compensate Mr. Hunter for the sweat equity that he put into the show and that Dear Mercury will continue to profit on even in their new reincarnation of the Wendy Williams show so guys he wasn't lying or trying to get attention despite the reported millions he made during his time with Wendy. It looks like Kevin's lavish lifestyle took a hit once the alimony che- X stopped flowing. It speaks volumes, doesn't it? He was an executive producer and her manager. Basically, they were rolling in cash while they were together. Whatever I don't have, whatever is taken away from me that God don't want me to have, I'm going to get back. Fancy cars, fancy clothes. Apparently, he was living the high life. Wendy spilled the tea on how he kept blowing through money once she cut him off. And it looks like this habit eventually made him face a harsh reality. As one person commented, yet he really thought he was going to live off Wendy William. Money with his side piece, the arrogance of it all to the point that he didn't save none of the money he was taking from Wendy and another user added T, doesn't seem much for him, tone seems like a lot for the poor and not him. It doesn't make sense except bankruptcy. 
Yes, you heard it right, guys. This man has embarked on the ship called the Bankruptcy, and he's heading to the destination full speed. Wendy William had millions of dollars from her talk show and various ventures, and Kevin as her manager. An executive producer had his share of the P2, so where did all that money go? And let me tell you two words that will explain it all, Sharon Hudson. We've had Ferraris, Lamborghinis. We still have, you know, exotic cars. We've had Bentleys. The lady has a thing for luxury but no desire to work for it, so she found herself a rich fool, and to Wendy's utter devastation. It was her husband as a wounded and hurt woman whose husband has been cheating on her for years, and made a baby on the side. Wendy didn't hold back when speaking her truth. Kevin became an AA, the lack of a better word he, the more successful I got, and he got, and we believed in each other the more of a jerk he became, he used his good credit to purchase property that he chose. To whine and die in his extramarital affairs, we all feel for you, dear Wendy, and totally support your decision to cut this leech off and throw him out to deal with the consequences of this despicable act I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day looks like it's Sharina's love for luxury, lavish lifestyle that bankrupted Kevin, not Wendy in the court. But hey, let's not point fingers in this story because Kevin is grown man, and he definitely makes his own decision related to his expenses pot. Probably his choice was bad, and even Wendy hinted at this multiple times in her interview with Andy Cohen. She said Kevin's problem is that Kevin ended up getting with this girl she made herself very available to him. And guys, let me just point to the cause of the problem Kevin and Sharon have been together for more than a decade. And that's a mind-blowing amount of cash he managed to squander on her opulent lifestyle 13 years that they were together. And, and people behind the behind the scenes say, it was more like 15 years as insiders claimed all these years they were riding behind Wendy's back. Kevin was quite generous trying to prove his noble intentions towards Sharina. He put her through school to be a massage therapist. He opened a kiosk for her at a mall in North Carolina where she's from. He helped her set up a jewelry and clothing line online called Vish. But none of her businesses have been a success. I don't know whether she was manipulating Hunter to give her more luxury gifts, but that the funny thing is Kevin was stupid enough to keep swiping his credit card left and right in luxury boutiques and although he made it look like throwing such huge sums was nothing in fact Kevin was struggling to make the ends meet ever since the alimony stopped flowing into his pocket. Well first and foremost, like I said, ah, uh, personally, you know what we were going through behind the scenes was, was a lot. Maybe as some would say it's the karma situation handling things regardless. It's a head scratcher how Someone in such a prominent position could seemingly have nothing to show for it. I mean, Kevin is being hit with debts ever since Wendy's money stopped coming, and apparently he's on the verge of filing for a bankruptcy. And while Wendy seems to have taken a step back from the limelight, perhaps resting and regaining her footing, the drama surrounding Kevin unfolds and gives us more juicy details to laugh about the silence on Wendy's end, maybe actually her desire to take break from the chaos giving him or the time and space she needs to get her life together before stepping back into the spotlight in full glory. What am I supposed to do, stay in the house and cry? Would you? You have a big career. Yeah, and you have a life and while Wendy living in peace, the saga of Kevin Hunter continues and will be. Here to catch every twist and turn of his financial failures, at least fans can't wait for a bigger downfall of this man. And as they say, he deserves every ounce of suffering that's coming for him as one. Person commented he's getting what deserves you can't do someone so wrong and think your life will be so right he hurt Wendy and wanted live happily ever after. With the woman he impregnated and another user added, he has a toxic reputation and no show wants to be associated with him while karma is. Finally catching up with Kevin for squandering Wendy's money on his mistress, but Kevin is still trying to run away from the consequences of the stupid choices now. Here's the real question. Do you think that? At Kevin will soon file for bankruptcy, or will he find the way to hustle more cash out of Wendy? Let me know what you're thinking, and in the meanwhile, don't forget to check my other videos.